Hey, how are you? I stumbled upon this hidden art gallery in Ixion Dong today. It was absolutely incredible. The murals on the wall, they were extraordinary, filled with subtle colors and fierce strokes, just how Ming would have loved it. I mean, who even thinks of hiding such masterpieces in alleyways, right? Honestly, the whole experience was a total surprise and a delight. Not to mention the food joints nearby. Oh my god, you wouldn't believe the variety. The whole area is a total hotspot for foodies. It reminded me of all those spice chats we had in Paris. Speaking of which, guess what's happening this weekend? You won't believe it, but we're having a dumpling-making party at mine. Remember how we used to make dumplings with my family during Chinese New Year? It is time to revive that tradition, right here in Seoul. Also, I can't wait to let everyone taste my dumpling secret recipe. They're going to love it. I promise. Oh, and the best part is Yuna wants them to be spicy. So it's set then. Dumpling day at my place this Saturday evening. By the way, Hana suggested we can even make some trendy art out of the dumplings. I know, it sounds so bizarre and fun. So, enough about my day. I hope your day has been as exciting as mine. Now, I have to rush back to the bar. Mixology is a demanding love after all. Call you later, yeah? Hello, hello. Did I tell you about the meditation retreat I had today? I know, right? Me, meditating. And you won't believe it. I achieved a level of calmness, especially in that secluded retreat. It was serene, a break from my usual hog-wild and hasty life. You'd be so proud to see your buddy going this zen. Day, our guide, is a total master of his craft. He made the journey so magical. I released all my pent-up stress with every breath and huffed in tranquility, and I swear I could literally feel the anxiety melt away, like churros in hot chocolate. Poof. Gone. I felt relaxed, calm, and centered all at the same time. It was truly an indescribable sensation. And for me, of all people, to reach such a state of calm... You know, it's practically a miracle. It's almost like I've unlocked a whole new side to me. Yes, Miss High Octane Evelyn has a zen side to her now. How fantastic is that? Now, joining the typical chatter about our favorite fiery dumplings, you would not believe how tied up everyone is wailing over spicy dumplings. And to add an extra twist, Hana suggested we add some artsy appeal to our dumplings. Let's see how that turns out, right? Although, just between you and me, I am a tad skeptical that artsy dumplings will be as delicious as the traditional ones. But hey, who doesn't love a little experiment? Am I right? Ooh, I think that's about how exciting my day has been. Can't wait for the weekend and for you to experience my new serenity and, of course, get into the fiery dumpling saga. Hope your day was amazing, too. All right, back to the bar. You know how it is, right? Those spirits won't mix themselves. Stay amazing, okay? Catch you later. So, the Harry Potter party was an absolute blast. Potterheads united under the banner of, wait for it, butterbeer cocktails. Yeah, the good old butterbeer from the three broomsticks, Ev style. I blended some cream soda with butterscotch schnapps and topped it off with a dollop of whipped cream. It tasted just like the real deal. And you know Suman completely fell under the spell of this concoction. He was quite excited and honored to be the first one to try it. It was a magical experience, to say the least. I felt like the wizard barmaid from the Leaky Cauldron. You know the cozy warmth that wraps around you as you sip on the butterbeer in the middle of a cold night in Hogsmeade? The happiness radiating from the faces around? That's exactly how it felt. Pure bewitchment, clouded in the sweet aroma of butterbeer. Oh, speaking of Harry Potter, we're planning a Potter marathon for the next party. Yeah, wands, cloaks, spells, and the whole nine yards, right here in Seoul. We're going to make our own wands just like Hana suggested. Hana, right? Always the artist she is. And guess who's on popcorn duty? Yuna? Now can you imagine Yuna working her magic, making popcorn for everybody while we're all chilled out, watching Harry's journey unfold again? It's definitely going to be one-of-a-kind night. Hmm. Now I need to decide on the cocktails for the big night. What about the Dementor's Kiss? 
Think about it, a feisty, dark, rum-based cocktail. Should be good for a Halloween-style marathon. What do you think? I should discuss this with Jiho and Sophie, too. They always come up with stellar ideas. So that's about it. My day, well, it was woven with potter and spells and all things magical. I guess some days are just meant to be extraordinary. Can't wait for the weekend and our rendezvous with Hogwarts. Anyway, I gotta wrap this up. A bartender's work is never done, right? Talk soon and...